hi friends uh, welcome back to the course so today i will be doing a problem which was asked in gate maybe in 2015 it's a very interesting problem it is a quite a lengthy one so first of all i request all of you to read the question very carefully since this being a long question uh, the more the time you spend on us reading this problem it will benefit you um, in solving it so pause the video for a while and then uh, come back after reading the question very carefully okay uh, hopefully you would have read the question so basically this is a situation where which we will come across we almost all of us would have come across we have our mobile phones we see our mobile phone vibrating all the time but most of us would not have thought what is the kind of mechanism that is in place um, to make this happen so by doing this particular problem we will be able to appreciate um, how it actually functions so before doing this problem there are numerous ways to do it but i want i'm going to explain this problem to you so um, it will be a bit lengthy um, let's solve this problem by doing some thought experiments okay there are only two thought experiments we will be talking about the first thought experiment is case one when our motor rpm uh, our motor rpm is zero okay so what then what is the situation that will be the first sec mm, the, the first case then the second phase will be when our motor is actually running so for this first particular case if if this is the ground okay so if i want to draw the free body diagram then it will be something like this or the weight will be acting through the cg then there is no force no external force due to the motor because motor is not running at all then now what else will be there the normal force these two forces will be collinear because since this is in touch with the ground there will be always a normal force the key point to note is for any static equilibrium case there are a set of equations the first equation is if you sum up the forces in the x direction then it should be zero if you sum up the forces in the y direction then it should be zero and if you take the moment about any arbitrary point in the system let that arbitrary point be p it should be equal to zero so these three set of equations should always hold true for a system in static equilibrium now if we look at this particular example here we can see there is sigma fx is zero if you sum up the forces in the x direction it is zero because there are no forces acting in the x direction and if you sum up the forces in the y direction it is also zero because um, your normal force is equal to your weight then let p be the arbitrary point if you um, calculate the moment about the point p then then also the sum of the mo moments due to two due to these two forces will be zero because this force this force will be this force will be creating a moment in the counterclockwise direction but this force will cancel the above um, moment in the because it is these two forces are in the opposite direction so the set of equations hold true for the first case now let's go ahead and see what will happen to the second case in second case second thought experiment we are planning to do this particular experiment when the motor rpm now the motor just starts and the motor let's say the motor is running at an rpm of let's say omega radians per second keep uh, remember the units we are talking about every we will be talking about we will be using the units of radians per second okay this is our our second thought experiment now in this particular thought experiment also the first thing to go do is draw the free body diagram so we will be acting our weight the act, weight will be acting through cg then there will be an eccentric force given by fe okay then 
First of all, how to calculate the magnitude of Fe? So for that particular thing, we'll go here. Let's say this is my, there's a small rotor and uh, this is a rotor, okay, let's say there is a small eccentric mass little m at a distance of little e and this whole thing is rotating at an angular velocity omega. Then the magnitude of eccentric force will be given by little m e omega square. Actually this comes from our high school physics. You would have heard of centrifugal force and centripetal force and all those stuff. So using those concepts we can arrive at what will be the external force due or what will be the force generated due to an eccentric mass in the motor and so we have an expression for uh, Fe. Now let's use this concept in our problem. Now going back to the second thought experiment we have Fe. Now the key point to note here is that my normal force will be acting Again, it will be acting. Why it will be acting? Because I'm telling my mobile is still touching the ground. It is not lifted off. It is not lifted off yet. Okay. So it is in complete touch with the ground. So there should be a normal force acting on the mobile from the ground. And I am giving it by N. If you keenly observe, if I put them together, let me put them together. Uh, this is the second case. I think I have my... Okay, I don't know. Yeah, here it is. So, um, I may have to erase what is unnecessary. Um, okay, let me bring it. Okay, so this was the first thought experiment and this is the... So uh, this is the first thought experiment and this is the second thought experiment. The key difference here to observe is that here the normal force was acting collinear with our weight. But here it is no more collinear. The reason for that is I told you there are three set of equations which should hold true for static equilibrium. Now if you compute the moments about P then it should be zero. It would not be zero if N is acting collinear with my W. So that's why the normal force acting from the ground got self-adjusted to make the moment about P equal to zero. So that is a key difference. That's why we won't see normal force acting collinear with the with the weight through the CG or it won't be acting through the CG anymore. Now if I want to, now let's go ahead and write the equation. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to enforce the three set, three set of equations on um, the set of equilibrium equation for this case. Now the first one is sigma fx equal to zero. So this is satisfied no doubt because you don't have any forces acting in the x direction. So this gets automatically satisfied. So now let's move ahead and try to write sigma fy equal to zero. If I enforce this particular criteria then Okay, uh, talking about the second thought experiment, when we first equation is automatically satisfied um, because we don't have any forces acting in the x direction. Now we enforce the second criteria sigma if y is equal to zero, then uh, minus w is acting in the negative y direction plus n plus fp equal to zero. So this is the equation which we get. Let's call this is our first equation. So this is the equation which we will get when we enforce the criteria sigma f y equal to zero. Then the moment we enforce the criteria sigma moment about p equal to zero, then we will arrive at this set of equation. Assume that counterclockwise moments are positive, then n x is the count. Let's say x is the distance of from the point p. N x plus f p into nine centimeter minus w times six centimeter. This is the sum. This is the contributions uh, from each of the forces towards the moment value. Now this should be equal to zero. We are talking about a situation when your motor is running but the motor is not running at quite a high RPM whichever actually the lifting of happens. Uh, this, is a mom uh, this is a 
case where the mobile is pretty much in contact with the ground there is no lifting off okay that's why the key point to note why that since it is in touch with the ground that's why there is a normal force term coming into picture now what they are asking us to find out they are asking us to find out at what particular value of omega actually this thing will lift off the ground about the point q so two things to note first is first among the two is that at that instance where this lifting of happens the value for moment about p will cross from a zero value to non zero value what else the second point is that the moment this phenomena happens the normal force will be zero because your no mobile is getting lifted off so what will happen you we won't be having a normal force acting on the mobile make sense hi uh, so having established the what physically happens there now let's try to solve this problem mathematically so when we enforce the criteria that uh, sorry the moment about p the point p should be zero there are only two forces now coming into picture because now the normal force vanishes now you have the force due to the eccentricity in the motor and then the weight of the mobile phone active simple maths or uh, again one is considered positive one is negative because one is acting in the upward direction causing a this one is acting in the upward direction causing a counterclockwise moment and this one is causing a clockwise moment so that's why a minus sign here now in this particular equation everything is known apart from omega square you we know everything so uh, solve this solve this uh, for omega square then we are done we know w we know what is the mass of the eccentric mass then we know the value of eccentricity so once we solve the value we will obtain will be um, omega is will in be in radians per second make sure you convert this units to rpm by multiplying it with sorry it should be 60 divided by 2 pi so once we do that then you will get an answer or you will get a value for uh, the omega near to 3500 rpm so that's the answer thanks for watching and one more thing before we leave actually we could have solved this problem in the in a in a single step by enforcing this criteria that moment about p equal to zero we could have done that but i wanted to drive home the whole concept of how to attack a problem from fundamentals so that's why i talked about how to the three um, how to enforce the three set of equilibrium equations and then solve the problem in a systematic way so that this concept will help you further down the line to solve a slightly different problem as well so if you're sure with your concepts then straight away go ahead and enforce this criteria and get an answer in the first try itself or in a, in a hardly in a one minute you can solve the problem and fetch two marks so once again thanks